Hi, my name is David Hackney. I'm an animal specialist here at Free Lakes Nature Center. Today we're going to be talking about the corn snake. Like all snakes, corn snakes shed their skin, but one of the unique, uh, interesting facts of that is that they have a clear scale covering their eyes called an eye cap. They actually shed the scale whenever they shed their skin. And I have a picture of this right there too. I don't know if you can get that. Corn snakes are located throughout the eastern part of the United States. Um, corn snakes have a hinged jaw which allows them to swallow prey larger than they are. So when they open their mouths, they actually unhinge their jaws in order to swallow their prey whole. Corn snakes are both fossil and terrestrial, which means they live on the ground and below the ground. They will often go into burrows, um, animal burrows, and follow those during the daytime to hide. Corn snakes prefer hardwood forest and open grassy areas, but are not uncommon to be found near farms. A corn snake eyesight is okay, but its main source of uh, identifying things is its sense of smell. Even though corn snakes have nostrils, they use their tongue to flick out, which you will see sometimes, collect scent particles on the tongue, bring it back in, and take it to the roof of the mouth where the Jacobs organ is located. And this goes straight to the brain and they instantly sense whatever smells are in their area. And this is why you see them flicking their tongues all the time. Corn snakes do have internal ears, even though you can't see them on their heads. They um, can hear, but they only hear at very low frequencies and vibrations most of the time. Corn snakes get their names because of their colorations and markings. If you can see their bellies, it looks like maize corn, the checker patterns and the unique colorations. Corn snakes are also constrictors, they're non-venomous. What this means is they will strike and uh, uh, hold on to their prey and quickly coral around them and they will squeeze until they don't feel the heart anymore and then they will swallow their prey whole. Um, constrictors, I mean, non-venomous snakes are easier to tell apart uh, from venomous snakes for two different reasons. One, as you can see, they have round pupils, though that does not always hold true. Uh, in our part of the world, coral snakes also have round pupils. But the easiest and best way to tell a venomous snake from a non-venomous snake is the shape of its head. As you can tell, the corn snake's head is almost the same width as its entire body going down. If you had a venomous snake, its jaws would be a lot wider than the rest of its body. They would really stick out on the sides. So it would be easy to tell that it was a venomous snake versus a non-venomous snake. A corn snake, or like most other snakes, if they're agitated, they will sometimes vibrate their tail and get in a defensive posture. They will also have uh, what's called musk glands at the base of the tail that they will excrete a very smelly liquid out of at whatever is threatening it. Um, corn snakes are both predator and prey. They will prey mostly on mice but they will also eat fledgling birds, uh, frogs, and um, most items that prey on corn snakes would be foxes, large birds of prey, raccoons, skunks, coyotes, things like that. Um, corn snakes will hibernate during the winter time in the cold areas. They will burrow down or find a hiding place that is below the frost line. Corn snakes, depending on their location and their age, will be either diurnal or nocturnal. Diurnal meaning that they are active during the day and nocturnal meaning they're active at night. 
Their colorations and patterns are an excellent source of camouflage to help them blend in real well with their environment. Horn snakes, like a lot of reptiles, when they lay eggs, um, the temperature of the eggs often determines the sex. Warmer temperatures will uh, mean more males will be born, cooler temperatures will be more females will be born. When a uh, female snake um, breeds, they will breed shortly after exiting hibernation. Uh, they will lay their eggs, which are not like uh, chicken eggs that we think about. They are leathery and pliable and um, malleable. You can actually move them around. They will lay their eggs and then leave. The uh, neonates, which are baby snakes, will be born. They use an egg tooth on the end of their mouth to actually cut through this, and when they're born, they're about five inches long. They are self-sufficient when they're bone born and they have no parental care whatsoever. One of the big things that are harming uh, corn snakes are the habitat loss in nature. And also they are very popular in the pet trade. 